I, I never wanted to be a teacher. I loved languages. I always wanted to learn English. That was the only way I could learn English, was to become uh, an English teacher. Yeah, my name is Omar, Omar Perez. I am uh, I'm from Morristown, Tennessee. I'm originally from Cuba, Holguin, Cuba. Uh, I lived in the country of Cuba for uh, 37 years until I, I moved to the United States. Well, growing up, we had uh, mostly, uh, we used to play out a lot. And uh, we uh, went hunting with slingshots. That's what, of course, we didn't have any guns or anything. Only the government had those. So that's basically what we did growing up, hunting for uh, birds and pigeons. And of course, we would eat them at the end, but you know, we caught any. We would walk to school. We didn't have any transportation, and pro I would live about almost a couple of miles from school. No backpack, so we have to carry all our books and textbooks on, you know, with our hands. You know, even when it rained, sometimes there was not even an umbrella. My first year of college was 1989, and if you could remember, that was actually when the Soviets started to collapse uh, a year later, if I remember well. So uh, uh, it was difficult. I mean, uh, uh, food was hard. Uh, the school provided food for us, but it was, you know, I mean, one of the, one of the worst times of my life. Uh, I have to say that uh, I, I come from a very atheist family. My dad was an atheist. So was, you know, most of Cubans, you know, because of the influence of the communism. And it's not a secret that there's a, a huge gap between what communists believe and Christians or, you know, believe and people of faith believe. And, and uh, I grew up being taught that God did not exist, that there was just a fairy tale. Uh, when I went to college in Cuba, I met a minister from Canada who, who uh, he was on vacation in, in Cuba. And uh, while I was there with uh, some of my friends in trying to find uh, people that we could practice our English you know, skills with. I, I ran into him and the minister uh, introduced me to Jesus and he showed me the Bible. And, he's, and, and that was the first time I ever actually looked at the Bible. I had held the Bible in my hands. Then he introduced me to Christ. You know, I got saved at the beach that day. And that's where my Christian journey started. Before I moved, uh, you know, permanently to the United States, I had been to the U.S. about five times already. I, you know, I came here to uh, share uh, different churches, mission, kind of missionary trips to the United States, you know, share about Cuba. And uh, my wife, she came in and I, th I thought, uh, you know, we were kind of ready to, come, to leave the country. I got to a point in which I decided I've done this much in Cuba, and I felt like I, I, I needed something else. And so we, you know, uh, uh, things were getting tough, you know, harder, because the kind of job I was doing then in Cuba, working with the, um, uh, churches, people from, mostly with people that came from the United States, I would help them around the country. So my wife came in and I said, I'll join you. She came, I, I thought I would, it would take me about three or four months to just to join her in the U.S. And, it didn't happen the way I thought. It took uh, 14 months, actually, because the government basically didn't, did, was, uh, didn't want, me, want me to leave. They would basically were hold, holding me in the country. Uh, to get out of the country, you know, was, was an ordeal. But, uh, you, know, you know, God opened the doors for me to get out. We lived in, in, in Miami for about four or five months working on our paperwork. And I had a good friend of mine who is a minister here in Morristown, Tennessee. You know, every time he would go to Cuba, I would interpret for him to vi when he visited the churches there. He said, well, come on, if you want to come and check, check us out, you know, check Morristown. And uh, that, so we did. And we, we thought that this was the place where God intended us to live in. I'm a part of the uh, staff at Gateway Church which is an uh, you know, international community of, that we were trying to reach out to, uh, to people that, you know, that are in different languages, you know, and uh, uh, basically we believe that uh, in, uh, in a broken society that unfortunately we're living in, uh, only, only the church call, can model unity, and that's what basically we're after, trying to model unity in, the, in our society. My motivation to come to the U.S. was not economical, 
it was not because of a lack of you know resources which is true you know we we lacked a lot of resources there but mostly i think i was uh, looking for the kind of freedom that i was not finding there i always said once i i i, I quit being a teacher in cuba i worked as a teacher in cuba for uh, 13 years then i went to full-time ministry and i worked i was the overseer for uh one of the largest denominations in Cuba. And I oversaw the uh, international, you know, visitors, people who came from other countries. And that was my job there. And I always said I would not go back to uh, teaching because, you know, uh, it was kind of difficult, you know, being a teacher there. Uh, actually, it was my wife. She encouraged me, why don't you, why don't you, give, you know, try, why don't you give it a shot? And, uh, you know, I, I said, okay, I'm on to, uh, you know, uh, um, I decided to uh, start working at a, as a t teacher. The, the opening came up, you know, I uh, interviewed, got a job, and I see my teaching job as also as kind of ministry where I can help my students to become better citizens. Being a teacher in, t in the United States now, this is my sixth year. Yes, it's been six years since I first started. Yeah, time goes you know, by fast, you know. It's been fun, actually. I've enjoyed it. We're good. We're good.